didn't know that nasi padang is actually not a Singaporean dish like many believe. I know! It actually <laughs> originates from Padang in West Sumatra, Indonesia. It all started when the Indonesians came to Singapore and we adapted their recipes. So today we are at Rumah Makan Minang where they have some of the most authentic nasi padang dishes with recipes harking back all the way to the 1940s. They have crazy queues every day and the food sells out really quickly. Lucky we are here early. Come, let's go. My grandma came in the 1940s uh, from um, uh, West Sumatra, Padang. We, uh, we, were, we were selling along the streets, uh, like uh, you know, the small stalls. Then uh, we came to the, you know, uh, there was used to have a very famous, um, they call it a tombstone nasi padang. So that's where it was first began at the corner shop. I think all the old generation, they know about that nasi padang. If I, if I don't continue the legacy, right, in the future, if you want to eat nasi padang, who's going to run it? To have this kind of authentic food, this kind of old school food, we must preserve it. Uh. Okay, so here in front of us, we have some of the most popular dishes here. And you know what, I just cannot wait to dig in. So let's go. Let's go for the tahu telur. This tahu telur is actually fried bean curd with peanut dressing and also uh, tauge and watered dark sweet sauce. It is really flavorful and the outside of the fried tofu is crispy and the inside is just soft and yielding to the bite. And it's spicy. It's like a very addictive blend of spicy, sweet and savoury, you know. And I like how the crispy layer, the crispy outer layer is so crispy, it's almost like eating a cracker. And this is their beef rendang. I'm going to give it a go. They take half a day to cook this. The first thing you realise about this beef rendang, it is, it is not as soft as other beef rendang. But apparently this is on purpose because they want it to have a slight bite to it, so the more you chew on it, the more the flavours come out. And this rendang is less lemak than other rendang, I realise. And it is spicy. Tender marinated chicken in green chilli. It looks very fiery. It does. And this melado hijau, right, is the Indonesian sautéed chilli. Sort of like a relish. If you like chilies, you will like this dish. The green chilli flavour is really strong. It packs a good kick again. It's spicy, it packs a good kick. The chicken is tender, it's savoury. In this dish, they put some uh, patai. Some of you, like me, really enjoy patai. At first, I didn't notice the heat of the chilli. It doesn't come to you straight away like the beef rendang. It's like a slow burn. A slow but good burn. And next, I'm going to try the gulai oponanta, which is basically jackfruit curry. I've never had jackfruit curry ever. And apparently, this is a very authentic Indonesian dish. You can't find it elsewhere. Mm. For the first time I'm eating this dish and I thought it would be very lemak but it's actually more savoury than lemak if you ask me it's salty and then uh, the jackfruit itself tastes a bit like uh, a brinjal I like the fibrous chunks of the jackfruit it really helps to scoop up the saltish sauce It's quite enjoyable and it's different from your run on the meal salad So this is a grilled mackerel with soya sauce and a lot of spices and seasoning on it the chilies, onions and lime. According to Hasmi, this dish is a very traditional dish. It's, it's straight from his grandmother's time. This mackerel has a lot of small bones, so be careful when you eat it. And it's a bit of a briny, saltish kind of taste. I think the dark soya sauce and the spices really help to neutralize it a little bit so it's not overpowering. I, I, I usually can take quite spicy food, but uh, the food is, is, is... I would say it's quite a challenge. Uh. So if you are... You can't really take really spicy food. You, you're going to be a bit more cautious. I think that the spices are not too much for me. They're there, definitely. It's more like a slow burn for me. I think I'm off form today. Usually I can take really spicy food. But today, Olivia seems to be winning the spice battle. I'm <laughs> For today. Okay, but moving forward. This is paru balado. For those of you who don't know, paru is basically lung of a cow. It is Wow, my favorite. Well, I heard, I heard Tian crunching on it, like literally crunching on it. Is it that crispy? Yeah. How can lung be crispy? This is unlike any other product I've ever had. Olivia doesn't eat awful, but she's gonna try this awful. 
Fried bun is very common, but fried to a crisps, almost like a keropok, I've never had before. And this is exactly just like a keropok. This is beef keropok. <laughs> so this is the sotong masak hitam, which is basically sotong cooked in squid ink as well as other kind of spices. Mmm, sotong is very fresh. Mm? And it's done just right, it's not rubbery, it's not tough. No, it's just nice. It's, there's nice chew to it, but it's not too tough. The sauce really goes really well with it. It's it's saltish, it's moorish, it's savoury, and... Of course, spicy. <laughs> just a tinge of spice as well. And it really goes well with rice. I can yes. just dip this in rice and wow, show. Yeah. So, Olivia, serious business time. Is the food here quite shook, very shook, or so shook? So shook! I'm gonna give it so shook! So shook! Whoa! I've had my fair share of nasi padang in food court, hawker centers, but I've never had anything quite as exquisite as the nasi padang here. Each and every one of the dishes really impressed me with their spices, with the presentation, with the flavors and the textures, all really full marks. I think I give it so shook because the heat is so shook. It's, it's painful, but it's a good kind of pain. And there are dishes here that you really can't find at other places. You know, after trying all these dishes, I am really glad that Hasmi has decided to continue the family business so he can keep the legacy alive, he can keep these recipes alive, and he makes sure that you know people like us or even the next generation can always enjoy this kind of traditional food. Keeping the flame alive. Yes, yes. Spicy one! <laughs>